Growing up, I would find shade under the oak tree in my backyard and watch curiously as my mom lovingly nurtured our plain green lawn into a colorful oasis of figs, strawberries, tomatoes, and her prized possession, the apricot tree. I remember watching her pace back and forth throughout the garden, spending hours on her knees with a shovel, plucking out pesky weeds one by one. As I grew older, I begged her to let me join. I wanted to learn from her, to understand the process, and to experience the joy she felt in working with the earth. To my mom, gardening was more than just a hobby. It was a way for her to connect with nature and to bring beauty into the world. I'm telling you this story because for me, it brings to life something that is essential about the climate and environmental movement. And that is that it often takes something or more accurately, someone to inspire our journey into activism. And for me, that was my mom. Christina Figueres, the lead architect of the Paris Climate Agreement, has often spoken about the role that women play in the climate movement. She points out that most women are more collaborative than most men and that they take to the concept of stewardship more easily. So thinking back to the moments when I would watch my mom gently water her prized apricot tree, it makes sense that she would have inspired me. The women who come before us inspire us to step up today. We need female leadership now more than ever. After all, we don't call it mother nature for nothing.